They said Windows 11 was getting smarter with every new update. More AI, better design, fewer bugs. But this time, it feels like Microsoft's latest patch just made Windows too smart for its own good. It all started right after the Windows 11 25H2. Update dropped on October 15th. Everything seemed normal at first until people began noticing something strange. In their file explorer preview pane.files that once opened, instantly, PDFs, Word docs, Excel sheets might suddenly stop showing quick previews. Instead of your usual one-click glance, users are now greeted by a chilling warning. This file could harm your computer. And just like that, productivity came to a screeching halt. The internet reacts. Chaos across Windows communities. Within hours, chaos spread. Microsoft's own support forums lit up with user complaints. On Reddit, hundreds of threads appeared almost overnight, all describing the exact same problem. People who depend on the preview pane for daily work, editors, accountants, engineers, designers, and office admins, are suddenly slowed down by dozens of extra clicks. One Redditor wrote, I process hundreds of invoices a day, and now every file throws a security warning. This isn't security, it's sabotage. And honestly, they're not wrong. For professionals, this bug is more than a small hiccup. It's a full-blown workflow disaster. So, what's actually going on? Enter Res, an independent Microsoft advisor, who seems to have cracked the case. After analyzing reports, Res confirmed that the problem isn't with the files, it's with how Windows now checks them. The October 15th 25H2 patch quietly changed the way. Windows validates file previews. It introduced stricter security screening, flagging more files as untrusted, even if they're perfectly safe. In other words, your PC isn't broken. It's just become paranoid. Windows now assumes even your own documents might be dangerous and refuses to show them in the preview pane. And while Microsoft's intentions were good, tightening security, it seems they've accidentally locked users out of one of File Explorer's most essential features. The good news, there are fixes you can try thankfully. Rez didn't stop at diagnosing the issue. He shared a list of practical solutions that are already helping thousands of users get their previews back. Let's break them down. 1. Unblock files. Manually right-click your file select properties if you see an unblocked checkbox. Tick it and hit apply. This tells Windows that you trust this file and removes the unnecessary warning. 2. Adjust group policy settings. If you're running Windows Pro or Enterprise, you can tweak group policy manually. Open gpedit mesco to user configuration. Administrative templates, Windows components. File explorer find and disable anything like do not allow previewing attachments. This restores normal preview behavior for most users. 3. Roll back the update. Temporary fix. If your workflow depends heavily on quick previews, this might be your best bet. Open Settings, Windows Update, Update History, Uninstall Updates. Look for updates installed around October 15th, specifically KB5066835 or KB5066793. Uninstall and restart your PC. Several users have confirmed that uninstalling these updates instantly restores File Explorer previews. 4. Try third-party tools, if you'd rather not mess with system updates. Apps like Quick Look and Microsoft Power Toys can recreate similar preview functionality. Just note, depending on your setup, Power Toys might still be affected by the same Windows permission bug. The Reddit fix. Everyone's talking about over on Reddit. A user named Kirillate shared a more advanced PowerShell method. They used commands to unblock every file inside the downloads folder and modified registry settings so that new files don't get automatically blocked again. It's a bit technical, but it works for many. However, there's one big trade-off. Once you apply this tweak, Windows may stop showing warnings for new files entirely. So while your previews come back, your PC becomes slightly less cautious about external downloads. Microsoft's silence, no official patch. Yet here's the frustrating part. As of now, Microsoft hasn't officially acknowledged this bug. There's no dedicated patch or update note mentioning the preview pane issue. For now, Community forums and independent experts remain the only reliable sources for fixes and updates, and that's leaving many users asking the same question. How does something this big slip through testing? The bigger picture, Windows 11's buggy streak. 
Continues, if this were an isolated incident, we could shrug it off. But it's not. In the last few weeks alone, Windows 11 updates have broken localhost connections, caused issues with Lianli's Li's LConnect app, and even messed with taskbar behaviors for some users. Each time, Microsoft rolls out patches to fix one thing and ends up breaking something else. It's starting to feel like a cycle. Patch, break, repeat. The 25H2 update was meant to stabilize. Windows 11, but instead, it's turning into one of the most bug-ridden builds of the year. What you should do if your file explorer previews have stopped working. Don't panic. Start with Rez's checklist. Unblock files. Check group policy or roll back the October patch. If that doesn't work, try the PowerShell workaround or use Quick Look until Microsoft releases an official fix. And above all, make sure to back up your files before making big system changes. So what do you think? Has your file explorer stopped previewing PDFs or Office files too? Drop a comment below. Let's see how widespread this bug really is. Microsoft needs to step up fast because small issues like this can waste hours of productivity every week. Stay tuned. As soon as Microsoft drops a hotfix or acknowledgement, you'll hear it first right here on Touch Trove. They said Windows 11 was getting smarter with every update, but this time it looks like it just got too smart for its own good. Right after the October 15th Windows 11 25H2 update, users started noticing a strange issue. The File Explorer preview pane suddenly stopped working. Instead of showing PDFs or Word documents, a warning pops up saying, this file could harm your computer, and that's when chaos began. From Microsoft's support forums to Reddit threads, users everywhere are complaining. PDFs, Word, and Excel files just won't preview. Even files stored locally or on the cloud are showing the same frustrating message. For people who live inside File Explorer, editors, accountants, designers, this isn't a small glitch. It's a major productivity hit. What's causing the problem? According to a Microsoft community advisor named Rez, the October 15th update changed how Windows handles file security. It now treats certain previews as a potential risk, even if the files are completely safe. Basically, Windows is being overprotective. Here's how you can fix it. Right-click any affected file, go to Properties, and tick Unblock, Apply. Open gpedit.msc. Navigate to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, File Explorer, and disable any option that says Do not allow previewing attachments. Or if it's breaking your workflow, uninstall the latest patch, go to Settings, Windows Update, Update History, Uninstall updates and remove KB5066835 or KB5067.93, some. Users are even using third-party preview tools like Quick Look or Power Toys to temporarily bring back the feature until Microsoft issues a fix. The Reddit fix. A Reddit user named Kirill8 found a PowerShell method that unblocks all files in your downloads folder and stops Windows from flagging new files. It works, but comes with a trade-off. Windows might stop showing warning messages for risky downloads. What's Microsoft saying? So far, silence. Microsoft hasn't released an official statement or patch yet, but the community is buzzing with temporary workarounds. And this isn't the only problem. Recent Windows 11 updates have also caused localhost and app compatibility bugs. Looks like 25H2 might be one of the bumpiest updates of 2025. And hey, if this helped you understand what's going on behind the scenes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon for more tech breakdowns, updates, and fixes every week.